Hey, Mr. Pond Boss, tell me how. Hey, Mr. Pond Boss, let's do it now. Hey, Mr. Pond Boss, you're the one that makes fishing so much fun. Well, hey, Mr. Pond Boss, tell me what I need to raise a big old honking moss back. Line breaking, tack tearing up Moss back. Hey, Mr. Pond Boss, tell me what to do to make all my Lunker Lake dreams come true. Greetings, Bob Lusk, the Pond Boss. Welcome to today's episode of the Institute of Higher Pondology. Today we're headed north from Gordonville, Texas up to Wildcat Springs Ranch to teach the students of the Institute about electrofishing. We're going to spend some time here at the ranch, 64 acre lake, beautiful setting, and it just rained 8 inches the day before, raised the lake level by 8 feet. So not today is the day to do electrofishing surveys but it's a great day to teach people about electrofishing. So as we come around, meet the crew, everybody's getting to know each other, now we're gonna head down to the lake, launch the electrofishing boat, and teach you about electrofishing. Now when the boat hits the water, we're gonna generate just a little bit of electricity, just enough to barely stun the fish. We will capture those fish, put them into a live well where we're pumping fresh water from the lake. Now the fish will be stunned for a few minutes, but they all revive and come right back. We will release them back into the lake. Now this lake is managed for trophy fishing, so the comments you hear are going to be regarding that as these students learn all about electrofishing. Around the front of the boat, so then put your hand in the water here and you're not going to get in anything because we're too far away from it because it's dissipated so much. But up close. But up close, yes. So it only, it only goes down about six to eight feet, down, and then roughly four or five feet in front of those anodes that are sticking out and creates kind of an ellipse around the boat. It's a field. And is there a point of a big fish where it just doesn't shock them? Or get them up? I mean, do you not get 10 pounds to the tent? Um, so, again, they've got to be in a spot where we hit them, right? So, if they're in deeper water, we're not going to get them because they're going to, they're just going to feel it. Not, not necessarily because they're big. Right, right. Now, and it will happen that you, because of the field, you'll have a fish that's on the outside of that field and it'll feel that electricity and turn and go the other way. You really Makes have sense. to be on top of them yeah. in order to shock them. But you're approaching them running current. Correct. And the way that electrofishing boats are designed is they create a, uh, it's called gal galvanotaxis. Mm. And as they get shocked, if we were shocking more fish, you'd see it. But it, as they're getting shocked, it's actually it'll actually draw them into the field. Well, we don't. Right. 
I don't know why, because in the conversion in our Excel worksheet, it goes from millimeters to inches. It does. Well, it's just a lot easier. 35. Yeah. You're not saying four and seven, six yeah, tenths. Yeah. Tenths. Oh, yeah. Tenths. Oh, yeah. 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 <clears throat> I know the 1.3, I understand that from the class, but... I don't Another know. one was born this spring, and he's still that small, so he used one. Uh, oh, okay. We could probably stuff him okay. down the throat of one of those other ones. <laughs> it's it's all about how this lake's managed. Because we're managing it for trophy. That'll never be a trophy. I see. 260. But it will get to a pound and eat a lot of bluegill. Right. Oh, no. it, four, no. okay. it might take him a year to get to here, but... For another year. And I learned my lesson on putting those back. How's that? We put bunt, we put back 200, or <coughs> I mean, we were putting back a lot of four and five inch years. Oh yeah, they're food, they're food. Come back next year and they're 508 <laughs> inch bags. 85 and 75. <laughs> that one came back a lot. Yeah. So there you have it, a dose of electrofishing, capturing fish, weighing and measuring them, keeping good records, and tracking. In the Institute of Higher Pondology, people really learn about these kind of techniques. Do a quick shout out and say thank you to American Sport Fish Hatchery for using their crew and their electrofishing boat for this demonstration. And you know what? If you need more information about fisheries management, want to learn about the Institute of Higher Pondology, take a few minutes, go to pondboss.com. If you live in different parts of the nation and you need some help, look the resource guide up at pondboss.com. We're here to help. Looking forward to uh, helping you grow some really big fish as fast as you can. Thanks for checking in with us. Okay. I like that That's all right. He'll be in there for the next three days. Oh, yeah. Uh, Okay, well, excuse me, I better put it back. Everybody get a picture? Do you pit tag the walleye too? We're we going. are now. We had before, but can't hurt. Yeah, Maybe can. we'll see it again. Where'd you pick that fish up? By that cliff? Now on that bank. We saw one over here in the channel. Exactly. Okay. Yay. Yeah.